Hi everybody, just checking in, see if we've got anybody on and checking that it's all working. Three, two minutes to go. So hopefully there'll be some people around soon. Ah, there we go. All right, so people can see me. Can you hear me? Because I'm a bit confused about whether I use my um, laptop microphone. Hey Liz, uh, use my laptop microphone. Hi Karen. Um, or whether I use my phone microphone. So I'm just checking. I just put it on my phone microphone, um, but um, it was going all squeaky. So I must have used my laptop microphone. So I'm just, just checking in that you guys can hear me okay. Um, if you can't, if you fear, I've got no idea what I can do about it. So hopefully this is working. Wow, everybody's everybody's up tonight. Awesome. Oh, East Coast of the USA. What time is it over on the East Coast of the USA? Hi, Ben. Wow, okay. Lynn, cool. Look, I've got you all there. You can hear me. That's fab. Um, that's fab. Every day, every time I do one of these, I I, I think, I Sharon, I, I think, why am I doing it? And then half through the day, I think I'm going to cancel it. I'm just not going to do it. And then I, I get a grip on my head and um, we'll give it a go. Uh, but it's all live, so anything can happen and you have to sort of go with me on it. But I'll keep doing them. Three o'clock in the afternoon, that's not too bad, is it? So um, it's all our poor um, New Zealanders. Um, who are up in the middle of the night for me, which is so lovely, um, because I haven't been up in the middle of the night for you. <laughs> no, it's all right. I might, I might be. It depends. Sleep is very precious down here with, with a new baby. Um, 12 noon, West Coast USA, so that's not too bad. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Hi, Joe. Um, cool. My Lily is bashing at the door already. Um, I'll bring her in at some point. Um, she's only, she's only 12, uh, 14 months old, so she's teeny tiny. But um, I've got her next door, so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get through this relatively easily. So I'm just going to give it another couple of seconds. Thanks, Liz. I, I really, really worry. Honestly, it's it's um, it's that thing, isn't it? Creatives, we're just we're our own worst enemies. We just beat ourselves up so much, and um, I don't think I don't think anyone does. Does anyone ever have that level of confidence? Brisbane. Only up because of the dog. I <laughs> I feel you. Does the dog want to watch my live? You know, face it, the dog wants to watch. So so that's why the dog's got up. Uh, evening, Jackie. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Um. In the in the UK, we don't, we're not allowed that. Um. We had ours a while ago. So, but I was thinking about proclaiming that it was two Mother's Days. Hey, Terry. Two Mother's Days, so we could have an extra one. Um. Every day is Mother's Day, shouldn't it? Yeah. I'm sure that's how it works. Right. Should we do this? Um. Okay. Um, I've got all my stuff on. I'm going to do some airbrushing today, aren't I? Crikey, oh dear me. What could possibly go wrong? 7 a.m. Monday morning here in New Zealand. Oh, that's not too bad then. 7 a.m. is not too bad. Okay, cool. So everyone's on a reasonable time. There's not too many people. Well, five o'clock's pretty bad. Um, that depends if, you've got, if you're used to five o'clock. All right, I'll stop rambling. There's a little monkey guy. Yeah, no, I, I, I've yet to meet a creative who is confident, and if they are confident, they tend to be crap. So, um, am I allowed to swear on here? Is saying crap swearing? Never mind. But as I'm getting used to this, I'm becoming more me. Um, yeah, got a confidence, um, you know, confidence and creativity. Maybe, maybe it leads to laziness. Here we go. Right, monkey. Shall I put them on there as well? Look, I like this. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So first up. I just did an eight inch cake for this one um, because I reckon we can get me in an eight inch cake. I have to be a bit frugal with ingredients, you know. I don't know if it's the same where you guys are, but it's not that easy to come by ingredients at the moment. So I don't want to be baking lots of extra cakes around that just getting thrown away and wasted. So, so let's see. Hey, Kerry. I know what time it is in the UK, Tracy. I'm here. And also, you're about 10 minutes up the road from me. So I'm guessing your time zone is the same as mine. So, all right. Okay. So, first up. Look, I've got, I've got the, I've got the vz. Um, carving dance. Look at that carving. Anyone do carving dance where they just sit and stare at a cake? I've got it. Um, okay, let's start building his shape back. So first of all, we're going to get rid of some of this height again, so we get that nice kind of like bass release face rather than just the huge cake stuff. Um, if you are asking questions, just be aware that whilst I'm looking here, I'm not looking at the laptop, and what I can't see on the laptop, the 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 the, the questions go really fast. So. Either keep asking them or wait till I sit down and then I can see them a bit better. So, okay, so first of all, I'm just starting to chip back 
so that we don't have this huge mound of cake. We're, just sort of, we're getting a bit more of a, it's going to fit in. Next thing I thought, because I quite like to add a little bit at the bottom here. So firstly, what I thought I'd do is I'm just going to cut in these two because his face isn't quite as round as you might imagine any more than your face is. If you're doing chimpanzees, you'll discover they're quite human-like. That technically should mean I should be able to do human faces, but I can't, so I don't know what's going on there. But animals, I can do all day long. So we've cut in, let me show you on here, just bring that across. So we've got the round coming in here and then I'm going to, I've just brought it in here. We're just narrowing it down to get this muzzle shape here. Okay, so that's it. And then, just because I want to extend off a bit here, I'm going to put this piece back in. It won't stay very well there at the minute, but we're just going to lay it up so I can show you. All right. Pop that back there. So his eyes are going to be right bang in the middle here. Okay, again, we talked about this last week. Don't be tempted to put them up in the forehead because they're not there. Right in the middle. He has got these great big pronounced eyebrows. Oh, I'm going to fight with my phone here. Also. Right, so to put that in, I'm just going to carve it back a bit. There, I'm just going to do the other side as well. Okay. I'll just bring it in a bit here as well. So now we've got the sort of a heart shaped face coming here. Muzzle coming in here, face dropping away, and then we'll have fur here. Whilst we're here, I want to just build that up. I'm just going to leave these bits relieved, and I'm just going to come in a little bit. To start pulling in his eyes. We'll leave a little bridge for his nose. The reason why I'm just holding that on is because I want to be able to see it as part of the shape. If I take it off, then I'm having to double visualise. So by holding that on in place at the minute, it means I'm going to be able to see the shape a lot better. And that's why I'm just, although it's a little bit awkward. Right, let's just flip cake everywhere. Sorry, Mum. My mum always gets mad at me for putting cake on the floor. Whenever she comes and visits, she's like, do you know you've got cake on the floor? I was like, I've always got cake on the floor. Right, what I'm going to do, so I'm happy with that, don't need to do much more. I'll bring it down a little bit, but we don't want to lose all our cake, do we? Otherwise it's a bit pointless. Okay, so I'm just going to do a uh, quick tidy up. Um, look, I've got the bin this week, so it's smart. Uh, quick tidy up and then I'll crumb cake. So let me just see what's going on. Hey Valentina, hi from Kings Langley. That's not very far, is it? How's Kings Langley? I like to live in Kings and yeah, I can't afford it. Mm. Right, hang on, let me just clear up this lot. Um, I've got a card on and I knew it would annoy me. Ah. All right, Ooh, over. so again, like last week, I filled the inside just to give me something less to do. Um, so all I've got to do here, I need to fill Put some here, just so that I can build that little piece back on. Hopefully it's going to stay and not be a pain. I'm on a turntable this week because um, I've got to airbrush. So if you see him spinning round, that's why, because he's on a turntable. So, does Some buttercream on um, again. Buttercream is just one to two, so uh, two hundred and fifty butter, real butter, five hundred icing sugar. 
Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that buttercream's always worked for me. I know there are lots of fancy dancy ones out there. Though. So what's everyone been doing? You've been doing any baking, caking? Anyone got any cakes on the tour? Is it all still completely dead? Everyone's doing treat boxes, aren't they? Oh my god, how good do those treat boxes look? Every time I see someone advertising, I'm like, yep, 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 I'll have one. And then I think, I can make them myself. Hi, Javinda. All right. Afternoon tea, yes. Tammy has been working her little butt off doing afternoon tea for just about everybody. I've had to tell her that she needs to up her prices because she's working too hard for nothing. So everyone moan at Tammy. If anyone on the chat knows Tammy, please moan at her and tell her that she needs to sort her prices out. Because look at that, I've made a gas mask. If anyone wants to make a gas mask, this is how you do it. Um, I've just seen, just going to hack off a bit of this. Sometimes you can't see the shape until you've crumb coated it, because when you crumb coat it, obviously it all looks like one shape rather than lots of different shapes. Um, so sometimes you have to wait until you've got a crumb coat on. See it properly. So don't think that you can't mess around with it or cut bits off once you've had a crumb coat. Sometimes you'll even be like, you put it in the fridge and come back to it like 20 minutes later. And then you're like, what did I do? And then you can mess with it then as well. Okay. All right. Let me just... Clean up a little bit. I've got more buttercream on the table than I have on here. Okay. That's my eldest boy. Just walking in. Thanks, eldest boy. Um, I'm just going to grab a tea. Hang on. So now we've got a basic shape. I, I kind of want to punch him up, push him up a little bit, but if I do that, then you're going to lose him. So we'll leave him there. So once we've got a basic shape, next step is adding in some features. I'm just using the leftover from yesterday. Yesterday, from last Sunday. So that okay, so we're going to build up some of the features. So firstly, we're going to put the muzzle on. Let's have a look, what does that say? Holland. It's a monkey. It is a monkey. Well, it's a, it's a gas mask at the minute, but if any... any any luck, it'll turn into a monkey or something in between. It's a chimpanzee. Oh, okay. Looks like it's going to be a skull. I now understand what you're all saying. I don't know what it's going to be right now. Wait a minute, it's a mess. So let's just see. So I want to put on... Well, I'll tell you what, I'll start at the top. It's less scary. So... Come in here. So with chimpanzee, you need to build up these really prominent eyebrow pieces. They go in there. And then I'm just trying to get some bits of catch these here. We'll build in Got a nose piece coming in. And then you've got so we don't need eyebrows, but we also need an eye socket.
the same on the other side. Okay, and then I need to build up a muzzle piece. Um, I'm just going to grab some slightly better stuff dried out. Dried. Just going to soften this stuff. What did you want? Hold on a minute. Slightly gutted, but still awesome. What did you want it to be? A skull? Well, if these work out and you guys like them, I can do a skull. Pretty much the same, same though, isn't it? Not a lot in it. Right. Top part. With that muzzle. And I'm going to just put in a bit more there. And then I need another chunk. Again, just let me get it going. I don't normally use this much. I need to make sure I can get under his chin. Like that. That's too big. I don't want to make it into an adult monkey. Get off his chair. Okay. Alright. So I've done two bits. So that I can make sure that I get a lip line going on. And then I'm just going to bring in a cut just too severely on that um, cutting off his cheeks. So. Um, I'm just going to bring in, if it will stay, this is called Flying by the Seat of Your Pants, which is a specialty of mine. That's the thing about carb cakes though, you can always fix them. If you, if you screw it up, you carve off a bit too much, there's always a way of putting it back. So, whereas if you never carve anything because you're too scared of getting it wrong, then you'll never carve anything, literally. Something like that. I just want to bring it in to make sure that it's his ears coming in here. Okay. You know what? I'm going to risk that and see how it comes out. We're just going to get some better eyes from there because that is old and dried out. I'm going to put it over there. All right. We've got a monkey shape, more or less. Can you see? We've got a chimp here. Uh, right, okay. Let's get a covering in and see what happens. Oh, yeah, oh, that's over there. Okay. Let's go. Whole family watching again. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. Bless you. I'm sure they've got better things to be doing on their Sunday evenings. I'm just going to chuck in a bit more. Again, I'd probably risk that. This is really chunky stuff. I don't know whether to risk it and try and get away with it or whether to bin it. And I hate binning sugar paste. 
Let's check a bit more in. Mm. All right, we've got any questions so far whilst I'm doing this? Yeah. They do come together quickly. They really do. But I'm, I'm absolutely racing against time. That's okay. Right, let me just chuck this in and then I'll get it um, thrown on. I'm going to make sure this face stays small about. Is that we'll end up turning it into a grown up monkey. I'm trying to keep. The features a bit and eyes anything that's babyish has got huge eyes i'm trying to keep features just a bit let's give it a go all right let's throw this on oh i've got some big lumps in this guys so we'll have to have some imperfections uh rolling pen Luckily, he's a chimpanzee, and the one thing chimpanzees are good at is having gnarly faces. It's another reason why I picked him this week, because you can hide um, a lot of mistakes. Anything that's got lots of fur or lots of wrinkles um, are really good to sculpt with. And I think that smooth coat, not so much. All right, let's throw this on. I think I've got enough. Offering it up again. And I've got my phone. Sorry, I've got the phone. Going over the top. Start working it in. Should be able to find. It's tricky with monkeys because you've got your eyebrow kind of like section and then you've got the eyes so you've got to find two sections coming through lumps I'm just starting to look back at my picture. I like the fact that we've got the head up, head coming out nicely, so we haven't just got a face and nothing else. We've actually left room for the head, forehead coming out. I'm going to finish tucking in around the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to grab my tools and then start building them up. Okay, so first up, I'm just going to find that 
So I introduced you to these last week. They're your um, they're FAMO tools, Sculpey. They're made by a company called Sculpey, and they've got all tools at one end, and they've got um, color shapers at the other. And that's what I use for all my work. So mouth. Stuffy. Right, mouth is two thirds of the way down. It's not, it's not right across the middle. It's, it's, it's more lower than it is high. You've got more, more top lip than bottom lip. So try not to put your mouth slap down across the middle and stuff it kind of around here. And then using my ball tool, little uh, large ball tool, I can just create um, the idea of lips as well. Yeah, and then looking at your um, looking at the picture, um, we've also got the wrinkles that come. I didn't mean born wrinkly. How sad is that? I'm going to coordinate it up. And then coming up, we've got wrinkles across the nose here. Just checking where the eyes are. So I'm just going to start working in these eyes just so that I can kind of see where they are. Bringing in this nose here. And then I'm going to work in, right, come up to the nose, middle ball tool. I'm going to go in underneath, in underneath, swap it around, come up the sides. And then flatten it down. These are really flat noses. But they have underneath the flat noses dents that come in. So the mouth is. And you've got this funny little bit that goes over the top as well. Pushing that nose down because the bridge of their nose is really, really flat in between their eyes. So there we've got it. Really flat, and then I'm building in. We've got all these wrinkles coming around here. Then I'm going down this side. I use my reference pictures all the time. I never imagine that I know what stuff looks like because we build up weird pictures in our head that, that are complete rubbish. So always using using the reference picture every time. Can't work without them. All right, I'm starting to just build up these eyes now. Um, the bigger your eyes, the more baby-like it looks, because we're born with the really, really big eyes. Actually, we're born with the same size eyes, it's just our head to grow, isn't it? It's hard, it's hard for me to see this side, because my phone gets in the way. And again, the wrinkles carry on. Right, everyone's still with me. I know I'm sort of chatting away to myself here. Who's saying good morning to me? So, ah, Sue, how are you doing? What time are you over there? I think somebody already told me. Is it five? Okay, right, starting to just work in. See, now I've got rocks all over the place because I saved the icing from last week for my tiger and I just got it out again. But it's not bothering me because 
especially something like a chimpanzee, they're absolutely full of knots and bumps and scratches and stuff. And I don't buy into the idea that you have to have these perfectly clean things. It doesn't look real if you do. So um, less worry, more creating. Honest to God, less worry, more creating. There's enough going on in the world without fretting about a bit of a rock in your icing. Just make it part of it. Okay. Sound effects come for free, you know. Fur out here. Okay, I'm going to start pulling in a bit of fur. I'm going to watch that bit because I've got a nasty rock there and I don't want it. Anymore. Give me a little bit of text on his nose if it's too firm. Um, thinner lines in with the thicker ones. The idea is that it doesn't look um, uniform. You want to add give him a bit of a pout. See, you know, I'm in my happy place, see? I get so scared of this stuff, and then it's just like, oh, just have some fun. Right, so I'm just pulling some fur out here. Trying to be as quick as I can, because I've still got to put some airbrush on this, haven't I? Just checking these eyes, you want to make sure that they're even and match each other. Just have a little fleck out. Oh, that one's getting a bit wide. I don't want it to get too wide. Just going to pull the fur in on this side, making sure we've got an end to the fur there. See around that? Think about this last week as well. If you, if you haven't watched it, the, the White Tiger should be running as a video on my Facebook page. Um, I'm also putting them all across to YouTube now, so um, I'm going to try and work on my YouTube. So if you want to watch them there or subscribe or anything you can. Um, I'm starting to build up my cake uh, community. There's about 40 lovely people in there. I'm helping them out um, when they've got issues or when they don't know how to structure stuff so that is called if i can remember rightly the cake illusionist sculpting school community so jump on there um, i'm going to i think next week airbrush the white tiger orange so i think i might do that in the group just as a little live just to give people a bit of a heads up about um, airbrushing technique and things like that so um, if you want to join that group that's there if you can't find it shout me a little message it is just me, though. Um, I had this amazing conversation this week with someone who thought I had staff. Uh, there is no staff. It's just me. So if I uh, send you a message or whatever, um, accept whatever, it's genuinely me. It's not someone pretending to be me. It's just me. Right. All right, we got a monkey face here. Have a look at that. So, obviously, we need some ears. Um, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Let's just... Heat him up a little bit. Okay, um, I'm just going to push down there because it was too stuck out. The thing about using soft sugar paste is that you can mess with it for a long time without it beating you up, which is what I like to do. So I'm just going to put in. Slightly stronger lines here, so we get some eye definition. All right, um, cool. I think I'm going to cut this away. Cut this away and um, wax some ears on, and then I'll airbrush again. So let me just cut this away. You'll notice this week that I pre-covered my board with um, you know, plastic. It really annoyed me last week, my board is getting dirty. So 
Let me just take that off. Oh, wait, he knows. Oh, terrible. Um, let's have a look. See if we've got anything. Anybody worth saying anything? 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m.? 7.30 p.a.m.? I don't know. Don't know. Um, how you use the tool to make the fur? Okay. Um, you need the middle middle ball, this one, middle ball tool. And it's on the other end. And then I'm holding it flat against the cake and I'm flicking. And then if you get natty at it, you can um, twist it at the same time. And then you get beautiful fur. And obviously, the, the further you pull, the longer, rougher your fur is going to look. And the, the shorter you pull, the more smooth coat, kind of like tight the fur will be. What I like about it is because they're silicon tools, they bend. So you get a different fur line with every single stroke. Whereas if you use something that's uh, rigid, you're just going to get a repetition of the same thing. And if you use a fork, I will hunt you down and kill you. So anything is better than a fork, um, but if we're trying to get really nice, different um, fur texture, then use something that's silicon so that you get different movement running. Don't use forks, guys, honestly. They're for eating cake, not, not, not cutting them, not carving them. All right, um, ears, 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 ears. Kind of like human ears, um, but we're lucky. I was gonna use modeling paste again, but I think they'll sit on the board. I'm only doing heads, I don't normally do heads, I normally do bodies, like whole animals. So this is a bit of a new thing for me. Why I decided to do a new thing live, I'll never know. There you go. Um, so you can kind of look at your neighbour, look at your hubby, look at anybody who's around to have a look at their ear to kind of see what a chimpanzee ear goes. But they're much gnarlier. And they're all individual and unique, which I quite like, because it means no one can accuse us of getting them wrong, because you can just say, ah, but I was looking at a different chimpanzee, um, which is my favourite kind of thing. So um, let me just kind of show you basic ear shape. Um, and then they're really, really gnarly. So you can, not, is, does everyone know what gnarly means? Or is that if I just made that word up? Um, just kind of working in here. Lots of those dents and stuff. And they drop to an earlobe. Um, and they're pretty big on a chimpanzee. So let's pop one in there. Speed earring. Da -da -da. And let's grab another one. I'm trying to make this cute for you guys, so I'm just keep widening these eyes out so he's got kind of cute babiness. Much easy to make grown-ups, they can be grumpy. Alright, another ear. One more, roughly the same, facing the other way. Um, I'll show that. I'm just manipulating it with my hands, really. It's fine. Bringing in a bit and then digging in those ear channels. Running over the I'm quite happy making them, you know, a bit messy. Doesn't bother me. Maybe it's just mess that doesn't bother me. I can't I can't stress the idea enough that nothing in nature is perfect. So spending hours and hours getting an absolutely perfect ear isn't gonna match anything. Um. And whilst we're here, just to give him a slightly rounder face, just want to add in, I'm going to just put in this 
because he's a baby. So I can do it. Just want to add in another little layer of baby fur around here. I'll do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to clean the board. I'm going to airbrush him colour in it. Uh, do you add glucose to your sugar paste to soften it? No, um, I've never heard to do that. I suppose it would work. Does it not get sticky? We've got um, our supermarket. Let's try that again. My teeth are. Our supermarket brands are um, really, really soft in this country. Trying to use them for round cakes is not the easiest. Wedding cakes and stuff like that. But for sculpting, as you can see. The blendability on them is absolutely beautiful. Um, there are other other stuff around, like modelling chocolate, candy clay. There's all sorts of things you can use. I'm a little bit of an old dog, new tricks, um, doing things like that worry me. Um, so I stick to what I know. But I know there's lots and lots of sculptors out there that who are using modelling chocolate or a 50-50 modelling chocolate with sugar paste, which makes it um, a bit more affordable. Um, there's Renshaw that's really soft, isn't it? But I think Renshaw dries quite fast. So you have to really go through all your brands and have an experiment with them and see what suits your style better. And again, it's going to depend on your climate, if you've got air corn, if you've got high humidity. So um, I don't know about recommending specific brands because it, it's going to depend where you are in the world and what you're doing. But you want it to be soft and as slow drying as possible. Okay. Um, the camera angle is quite funny on this, so let me just lift it up and show you. You see him? My camera's um, slightly overhead at my head. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just put this stuff over there, give the board a wipe down, and then I'll give him a quick airbrush. And I'm doing fine. Comes in. Hey, 40. Woo! Minutes. Okay. Um, this will work. I don't really want to airbrush with all the dust and stuff on it. It's a huge mess. So let's get these things out. I've just noticed. Um, just noticed that I haven't textured his head and it's going to annoy me, so just wait a second. So with the airbrush, I'm going to need to use a couple of different colours. I need like a skin flesh tone, which is the hardest one to get actually. That worries me far more than Airbrushing anything else because you overdo it and you get the you know, tango. But for you guys, I'll give it a go. So you want to give him some skin tone in the middle, and then we just start all down. So let's get this going. Um, I won't be able to talk when this is going because so it's, it's extremely noisy. Um, get on with it, and then uh, we can talk after if you've got any questions. So. Let's go. Uh...
Okay, again, show you. There we go. Right, let's see what questions that brought up. Oh, airbrush questions. Okay, hang on a second. Airbrush to use cleaner. Uh, what color are you using the airbrush? Can you mix colors or do you use one at a time? What brands of colors? Okay, so many questions. Um, I've got Iwata um, kits. I always use Sparmax. Um, I've always used them. The um, Iwata are the best in the world. So um, in terms of fine lines and, and creating beautiful work, they're, they're, they're top end. So that's why I go with those. Sparmax are uh, the company they brought out. And I've got Sparmax guns as well. Um, colours. Honestly, I use everything. I, um, I must be the saddest person on the planet that uh, has about like six or seven different shades of brown. Most people just have a brown. Most people would just have a brown, um, but because I do so many animals and like every breed of dog is just a slightly different shade of brown. So I have every different um, company, their brown is slightly different. So some of the browns are uh, warm browns, they're like brick colours, some of the browns are ye like yellow browns. So I've got all of them. Um, so I swap and change between brands um, because they all have slightly different colour color shifts on the same, um, same, same tone. So um, I tend to pick and choose. But I'd also make my own colours. So if I can't find a colour, I'll, I'll make colours. I'll use gel colours. Um, if I'm trying to do a grey, I'll use a gel grey and I'll put vodka with it. Um, because if you try and do grey with a black shading, um, it can throw purple or it can throw green. So I don't, I don't want green monkeys and things. So um, I'll quite often mix my own colours as well with gel and vodka. That sort of thing. Um, yeah, OK. I'll talk a lot about more about airbrush perhaps I can do some more. But right now, um, I'm just going to get them finished. So what I need to do now before everyone turns into a pumpkin um yeah it's just a bit of dusting put the eyes in so we've got an awful mess everywhere here so let's just bear with me so um i did quite a bit of dark work while i'm throwing paintbrushes around i did quite a bit of dark work uh in the airbrush but if you're not confident enough to do that which is absolutely fair enough you know you don't have to be uber confident all the time you can do a lot of it with dust um, i did everything with the dust last week um but you guys kind of want to see airbrush so I shade um, and now i'm dusting on wet airbrush which is never a good idea so ideally wait until this is dried up but, um, I'll give it a so i'm going to dust in now i've got brown dust and black dust these are petal dust um these are rainbow dust i do swear by rainbow dust all of my dusts are rainbow dusts. They're, they're my absolute go-to. I've used them for years. Um, but I always mix a brown and a black together. I don't like things that are really solid black. I don't think anything in nature is solid black. So I don't think our creatures should be either. But when we're happy that we've dusted, using a dust brush here, so I did a lot of it on the airbrush, so I don't really need to do that much. But um, if you didn't want to do it on the airbrush, get in too detailed or whatever, you can do it with this. A little bit of water in the back of the eyes. Um, I'm just showing you that because if you did it on a sitting up monkey, his eyes would fall out if you didn't. Um, we'll just pop in. Now, baby monkey, big eyes. Bigger than you would normally have, um, but they've got to sit inside your eye socket. If they don't sit inside your eye socket, they're going to look like he's a stuffed animal. Almost there again, gosh. So I'm just going to widen them out a bit. Um, and then a little bit of water, bring these over. Uh, autumn leaf, my go-to, my favourite. Anyone who comes on my classes knows that I live by this stuff. Autumn leaf. Paint the eye. This guy, he's got his full pupil covered. 
Um, you have to check which monkey you're using because some of them you'll be able to see like the white on the side. But I haven't got it in here, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, on my picture, you've got the full, full pupils coloured. Too much water and it won't it won't even out. There, switch it out. There we go. That's better. To the other side. Feel a bit. Nearly there. Thank you guys for um and hanging out with me again. It's caught underneath here, it's annoying me, so let me just blend it in. Again, no such thing as a cake artist, or any artist who doesn't make mistakes, it's just such a thing as one that hides it better than the rest. Remember, less worrying, more creating. I'm going to create that as a tagline, I swear. Right, dusty in the top. If I've got any dust in my brush, it would help. Dusting in the top just to give it the idea of shading. And if we dust in the top, we have to highlight through the bottom. Over kill. Then we just need, and we're trying to make him look cute. I'm just going to space a bit. Then we can give him slightly bigger pupils and perhaps his totally realistic. But if we're going for cute monkey. Baby monkey, then we'll get away with it. There's one. One is easy. Second one is much harder. You start with a small circle, and then you can decide, like, if you need to shift it to the left or right. And then finally, all we need to do is go on super white. The other thing I've got down here is super white. Um, that one, that I use all day too. That I use all day, all day long. Couldn't do without it. Um, and we're just going to put in some really big highlights. One. Two. And we can just run it through our highlight here so we get a second. Uh, if you want to put any like little marks on his nose. Did you see when I was doing the airbrush? I added some like dots and things around the face. I like adding little white dots as well. Just like where the dirt might have picked up or a bit of clay or whatever. You can put some fur on. Anyway, I could play all night. I won't do it. Right. One, two, three. There we go. Let me just try and get it in the camera a bit more. So that is monkey face in an hour. <laughs> what do you think? Any questions? Let me have a look. I can't see the screen very well from over here. I've made an absolute tip. So let me just have a look. Um, if I can put that underneath. Okay. What have we got? Oh, they're going so fast. Hang on. Uh, whoa, just ask me those questions again. There was something about if we, if we don't have skin colour. Your skin colour isn't skin colour, it's apricot orange. Anything like that, um, it's not. Um, I don't know if, if you can get a skin colour gel, which you could... Let me try and get into sharpening. 
Um, Um, you can get a skin colour gel, which you can mix with vodka um, or lemon juice uh, and make your own. If not, it's just any of the apricots, but it's very, very faint. So I did, I mixed earlier. Did you see me mix the colour? So earlier I mixed apricot, but I mixed it with a bit of brown just to try and take the heat out of it. Um, and then just use it really, really faint. If that's too scary, uh, why don't you do your entire chimpanzee in apricot um, of depth? your entire chimpanzee in ivory or skin tone, like actually colour the fondant, and then all you've got to do is airbrush in the brown. So you can do it in um, in stages of confidence. If you're not confident enough to airbrush the whole lot, pick out the skin tone, do them in skin tone, and then airbrush round. Um, what other questions have we got? Please, yes, get your airbrush out of the box. Honestly, it's crying in there. It's absolutely crying in there. Um, it's not allowed. And the only way you're going to get good at it is to do it. I've said this so many times in the last week, it's ridiculous. As the, everything you want is on the other side of that fear. So once you've gone through the fear, it's done. You've done it, and then you're fine. And then you'll start airbrushing anything. And honestly, it's so addictive, you'll then get really angry when anyone orders something that isn't airbrushed. You'll just be like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not playing at all. So um, you've got to get it out of the box. The only way to get good at it is to practice. You're going to practice is if you get it in your hands. Okay, so please, if any if anyone takes anything from this tonight, it's get the airbrush out and have a go. Uh, what colour was the highlights you used on the bottom of the eye? So um, I mixed up um, just my autumn leaf, and I mixed it up with um, a bit of super white and did a highlight that way. I worked down colours. Um, this is what I was doing with the airbrush. So I wasn't someone. There was one of the questions earlier, wasn't it, about mixing colours? So I started with the apricot but just with a little bit of brown thrown in. And then I added a bit more brown, so the colours were dropping down. I wasn't getting rid of a colour and then adding a completely new colour. My colours were dropping down. We were, and then I dropped in a few drops of black. So even my black isn't black. I never use black. I'll use a very dark brown, but I won't ever get to black because I think it looks really cartoony and they go pop art and, and it's not my style. My style is, is much, 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 much softer. Uh, no, it's not recorded. It's live, as you can tell, because I'm waffling on. Um, my airbrush, quite true, you get better if you, you've got to get the airbrush out and have a go. Please come back to me next week and tell me that you got it out. Even if you just airbrushed a piece of paper. This, you see I was walking on and off this all the time. And I've been using airbrushes for years and I still will, will practice on that and, and get my eye in. Uh, the airbrush is, uh, this one is, it's an Iwata uh, HPC. It's quite a, a nice top end airbrush that I like. But I also have Sparmax's, Neo's. Um, I have about six or seven airbrush, but don't try hobby. Uh, right, what does it say? You, oh, yeah, so this is um, it's live recorded. I'm going to, I, I've, I've done my hour, hour and one minute now. Thank you so much, everyone who's hung in with me. Um, if you want to see more of these, please let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, faces is good at the moment because um, it's only an hour. I, I don't know how to do any more now, and I rush through this as it is. So let me know what else you want to see. Um, and I think that's it. If there are any more questions, if not, then thank you very much. And I will see you next week. If you'll have me a piggy, Jane, you can do a piggy yourself. You don't need me to teach you how to do that. So you're very welcome, Debs. All right, guys. So we've got another monkey. So we've got the tiger from last week. And now we can have a monkey to him. Hopefully that's helped you all out and I'll, I'll catch you next week. Have a good week. Bye, everybody.